Hello guys, this is the next, um, another video actually of Star Citizen, uh, and again, I'd like to thank Slap Pappy, um, which I've who I've mentioned in a previous video, I will post a link to our fleet underneath in the description of this, um, hopefully by the time this video is up we've actually decided on a name, finally decided on a name, our fleet has over 20 members so far, it's a pretty recent fleet, um, recently created and it's a good active fleet and we'll play a lot of other games Planet Side, Rust, Daisy, War Thunder and some other games so if you're wanting to join us then you know that's fine um, comment below or go on to the link I provide and you know just uh, mention you want to join and I'm sure you'll get in so this m this this is the business this is, is this, no, this is the deluxe hangar um, which I don't think you've seen yet, and I haven't actually seen it since it's been up since uh, I haven't actually seen it at all apart from videos. So I don't know where everything is. This it <laughs> it makes my freelancer look tiny. Look how high it is. And bit in my hangar, the freelancer wall is literally like the wall behind the freelancer is here. Look how far back it goes. It goes all the way back there. And, oh, there's, there's the beautiful cutlass, which I'm really looking forward to having a look around and showing you guys around. Um, as you can see on this one, the uh, firing range is all the way over here. It might be worth getting... Um, I can't remember the name of them vehicles now, but it might be worth getting one to be able to drive all the way over here, because it's quite a distance. Ah, it's an elevator. So bouncy. Ah. Oh crap, oh crap. Where do I get off? A door. Ooh, I can't walk through the door. Ah, uh, ah! Whoa, I lost my face. There we go, I got through the door. <laughs> so, excuse the odd bits of lag. Like right now, I'm getting like 30 FPS, 40 FPS. It's all over the shop. Once the game's optimized, it'll run loads better. So there's a the shooting range. And there is my tiny looking freelancer. I feel really embarrassed to have a ship that looks that small now. It's a big ship, generally. A pretty big ship compared to starter ones, but it looks so small. Can I jump off of here? Let me jump. No, I'm not allowed to jump. I thought I could jump to get down quicker, but clearly not. Ooh. Ah, here we are, look. So this is the clothes I can change into. Let's change into them. You see I've now got the other clothes on. Uh, yeah. This is something I'm going to show in the last one. It seems to have weapons and stuff. I'm going to show it in the last video with the um, Hornet, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Then the fish tank, exactly the same, just in a different spot. Kind of, I kind of like this area. It feels like a little, could be like private quarters up here if you get that door working. Um, could be like the captain's little area. Uh, however, I, oops, oops, I do kind of like the uh, layout of the business hangar as well, the bit of the hangar I've got, and um, that's not the way down. So it's, it's only one way up, and it's all the way down here. Where's the door for it? I can't remember where it was. Is this it? No. Uh, we're lost. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. Is it still bouncy? Yay! Jump! That doesn't sound good. So, you've seen the new hangar, and there's nothing back here. You've seen this, this hangar now, you've seen all the hangars so far. Uh, and now let's show you the cutlass. This is... It's not marked to be a pirate... Basically to say, what is it, uh, a merchant ship, I think it is. But it's not, it's a pirate ship. Um, shh, don't tell anybody, it's a secret, it's a pirate ship. It's... It comes with this hangar, for now, what you can see, this uh, deluxe hangar. However, it's only temporary. It actually comes with an asteroid hangar, which, we've, from the artwork I've seen, from the concept art, it looks incredible. So I'm hoping Slap will maybe, if you're listening to this Slap, could you maybe lend us this ship, lend me this ship again? 
when the asteroid hangers out, um, so I can you know record a new hanger, please. <laughs> so um, this. This is the ship I considered selling my freelancer for, and if I knew I could get LTI for this, um, I didn't want the I didn't want the cutlass until it were actually uh, launched into the hangar. Before it was just like a statue of it. So they they released it on the last update, and as soon as I saw a video from Scott Manley, I s all of a sudden wanted it, and I was tempted for a, a couple of hours to train my freelancer for it. But my freelancer's got LTI, and my Cutlass would not, so I've dec I decided against that idea. So as you can see, it's it's got a big glass front. Uh, it's got these like wing things here. These could be work well as shields as well, actually. Um, you know, armor protecting side at ship. Where's where's the weapons? They're not weapons up there, are they? Can't. Be. It's got huge landing legs. Where where are its weapons? They must be weapons then. I can't see where else it's got. I can't see where else it'll have weaponry. These here, see, these seem to rotate. You can tell they rotate just by looking at that. So that seems maybe that that makes me think VTOL, and also like it can spin and like put if it if it spins and like obviously it, f the engine faces forward, it'll slow you down, put you into reverse. You spin in all different directions, and it's good for manoeuvres possibly. Uh, oh my god, that looks... Oh, they're big engines. This looks like it's going to be a fast ship. But to me, that engine looks like it's folded over. It looks like the bottom half will come out and aim forward. Well, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but... Other than that, I can't really see many weapons on this ship. Which is kind of surprising. Ah, oh, hold on. There seems to be a weapon up top. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So, by the... L Let's have a look. Is there a way in the front? Again, I know on the last video there were a bit of lag. It's still here. I can't do much about it. And yes, you have to get in through the back. That looks like a docking port. A car, maybe a way to get cargo in or out. Or I don't know, bloody know. Looks cool though. No, let's have a look inside the cutlass. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, could it? When I first saw the cutlass, I was like, well, it's not very big. It's quite small, small little ship for robbing people. Cool idea, but look at look at this space. It's even got a. T <laughs> uh, it's got a toilet, but I don't think I want to use that. It's not as nice as the toilet and the shower you get in the freelancer, but it's still cool to get. Um, let's try sitting on it. Whoop whoop! Ah, and I sat on it and fell out of the ship. Brilliant. Right, so how do you get I can't remember how you get the camera behind you now. It used to be F one and F one again, but the buttons kind of changed. So these look like more docking ports, but if we have a look outside, what is actually there? It looks to be these. So are these actually engines? I think they can be changed. I don't know. This ship also comes with a docking collar and a tracking beam. I think um, so. You know, uh, you've also got a man. So there's the thing we saw underneath the what I said, well, maybe docking port or something. So we've got a gun up here, which you can't get up yet, but you can kind of see up there. Might be able to get a better view soon. Uh, you know, we can't sit down there, but this cargo bay is actually pretty, pretty impressive. And I like how the door at the back's only small compared to the freelancer, which is huge. I know for the freelancers, more for moving cargo, but you know, it's it's not bad. This this gets a bit thin. What are all these metal things from the side? I'm really impressed with this ship. It's nice to finally walking about it. You've got a lot of computers here, a lot of gadgets, and so I love I love. I think it's supposed to say I love tuna, it's a picture of a cat. So what have we got here? Sorry, I'm, I'm so, I really apologise for lag. One thing I've noticed, let's head back in here. It seems to be near the cockpit there's lag. I was going to say there's no beds, but clearly I think these are supposed to be the beds. Kind of makes sense. So there is actually beds, but not massively impressive, so... As you can see, you walk up to the front and the seats are all on the left, so we've got one seat here, 
I still really apologise for the lag. Um, I keep apologising until I get a better graphics card. Um, it's because I have two ships. One ship I can handle fine. When there's two ships, it kind of decides doesn't like it. So I sit down at the desk. The desk. Sit down at the. Uh, oh, lights flashing up there. Oh, here we go. Are oh, you staying on? Have you got power? It's it's, it, it's dying. No, come back on. So as you can see, there's a lot of screens in front of us there. The top screen's gone off, and the flashing around the middle has gone off as well. Well, there's a lot of screens there. I'm thinking the one in the top could actually be an aiming thing as well. Possibly. Uh, just move my mouse there and lost it a bit. It's got beautiful... Ooh, it's got a fan. I want a fan on my ship. If I get a better toilet, this gets a fan. Not like we need a fan, because space is freezing. So yeah, you can see... Um, You've got perfect views all around you. The view out of the ships I've been in so far, what I've got videos of, this has to be the best visibility I've seen. I love this visibility. It is beauty, especially looking at that side. You can't even tell you there's glass. I'm hoping that you do you can tell there's glass there eventually, but right now you can't. Well that looks so I'm I'm really impressed with that. You look up there as well, obviously, you've got to be, I think I've got to be a certain angle for it actually to load properly, but there you go, you can see there's a massive screen up top, it's a hell of a lot of information that's up there. We don't know what it all means yet, and it doesn't work yet, obviously, because the ships don't work, but that's going to be a lot of information for someone to keep track of. Well, that looks awesome, that, that looks really, really impressive. I like that. My freelance is more, it's got a lot of alien technology in it, so, oh look, all the, oh wait, if I, if I go there, look, you can see, oh, it's flashing a bit, but you can see most of the uh, dashboard, look, it seems just to be a little bit of a bug there, if I look straight, look, it's gone, look that way, not working, look that way, it's there, well, there you go, you can see, uh, you can see all of that now, it just seems to be only at certain angles, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at this gun up top, shall we? Um, where are we? So, here's the gun. Uh, you can see the console there where you sit, where the seat are going. You you control. You can see the gun. I'm going to guess it rotates. Can we see weapons on it? The, yeah, you can see on the on the sides there. Look, there's um, there's a mount each side for weapons, but it's not actually weapons. And you can tell it's a pirate ship. Oh, it's got the uh, swords. Uh, and it's even got teeth, razor sharp teeth along the side. But it's not a pirate ship. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so this is a cutlass, and uh, I really want one. I really, really want one. But I'll earn it in game. I think the first ship I'll buy in game will be the Hornet. Um, cause I've got a, I've got a big ship, a long distance ship, trans, uh, tr uh, to transport stuff. My freelancer, so. In the next ship I'd get, I think the first ship I'd buy, I'd, I really like Aurora, I miss my Aurora. 300 I a nice ship, but I'd rather have a Hornet. And there's no other ship I'm really that, I like every ship, the Starfarer, is, I like the idea of a Starfarer, but... Yeah, there's no, uh... Ship I really, really, really want, I want every ship, but there's no, no ship that really stands out to me other than the Cutlass and the, uh... I just miss my old Aurora. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like the video. Keep an eye out in the description because I will post a link to the fleet. If you want to comment and uh, talk to me about Star Citizen or the fleet, then let me know. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll, uh, I'll hopefully see you on the next part, which should be dogfighting, unless I get an updated version of the Avenger or a Constellation. Uh, Hopefully I get a constellation. I, I really want to see the Avengers, so hopefully I get that. So uh, I'll hopefully see you there. So goodbye.